Newton residents are upset over a rundown cemetery, and they say the owner refuses to fix it. KCCI's Kim St. Ives just back from Newton, and she joins us live from the newsroom with a look at what one man is trying to do to make things right. Kim? Yeah, well, Newton residents have now turned to the city for help after the owner refused to clean up the cemetery. City officials tell me their hands are tied because the cemetery is privately owned, meaning the mess might not be going anywhere anytime soon. A place where friends and families come to mourn. My father, my godmother, and then my godfather are right here. And someday I'll be right here. Now covered in overflowing trash cans, overgrown grass. This stone you can barely read. In sunken headstones. American flags even tossed among a pile of trash just yards away from the graves. This is somebody's final resting home. And you're the caretaker. You have to do your job as an owner to keep the cemetery clean and maintain. It's hard for Dan Bragg to see the once well kept Newton Memorial Park Cemetery he grew up going to when his uncle owned it several years ago, now seemingly so neglected. The Bible is starting to cave in on its own from the weight. The concrete's just given away. The tower over there, the memorial tower. There's times where we walk by it and the boards were knocking, knocked down and there's trash inside of it. And it's just like there's no respect. Bragg says the owner refuses to clean it up, so he's taken it upon himself to make things right. I was here a few weeks ago, a lady pulled in, her stone was horrible, I fixed it myself. I carry a shovel in my car for a reason. Now he wants respect for his loved ones to be the reason the owner finally gives this nearly 80 year old cemetery the care it deserves. People just don't want to see this any longer. They want action taken, they want the owner held accountable. And I reached out to the owner this afternoon for comment but didn't hear back. Live in the newsroom, Kim St. Ange, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.